<laughs> friends of the Good Time Crew. Good Time Crew. You are our friends, and that's why now that you're here, you're part of the Good Time Crew. Yes, you are. So thank you for being here. Always tuning in. I mean, Seriously. we try to keep it coming. We try to keep something going keep on. You entertained and whatnot. With, with what not, what have you? What have you? Coming <laughs> and what have you? But anyway, hey, if you don't know who we are, my name is Justin Dorsey TV, and you can find me there on all social media platforms. Black Planet. No, I'm just playing. I'm TV Stacy. I did that for his face. But thank you. Thank you. Anyway, TV Stacy, you're moving along a little slow, so we're going to keep this ball rolling here and just uh, jump straight into this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Join the crew so you can always see the videos that we're posting. Yes. All right, we brought you another when family you guy. We brought you more family guy because we got to do it. Got to do it. This time we're getting a little offensive. Offensive. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. <laughs> Chris, do you remember your job? To try and get my shoes sucked into the escalator so we can sue them all. That's right, sweetie. I heard they're paying 50 grand a toe now. <laughs> The train. Now that was the way to travel. You remember that, Chris? Not at all. Well, what about that guy in the front? He's a grown-up. He's the conductor. I don't see no orchestra. That's a different kind of uh. conductor. Okay, well, if he's the conductor, why don't he have electrical tape wrapped around him for safety? Also a different kind of conductor. <laughs> all right, thanks for joking around with me. We're going to go check out the rest of the mall. <laughs> What's going on with you, man? That's a human being. Sorry, sorry. My buddy sent me a bunch of Romanian porn, and now every girl I look at, I imagine throwing onto a table. Yeah, that wasn't really the backpedal I expected. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, I bet lots of millionaires come in here and hit on you all the time, huh? <laughs> do, we? do we? Do we do that a lot? Yeah, I guess it happens sometimes. Did you want to look at something? Already am. Hey, can I try that on? Good taste. That's our nicest men's ring. And I'll take your number. Here you go. Call me. What the hell are you doing? That ring is ten thousand dollars. Relax, Dewey. It's backwards. All I have to do is bring the ring back when she's not working. I'll get a refund, and she'll never know. It's a perfect scam, like Teddy Roosevelt getting to be on Mount Rushmore. I won the Revolutionary War. I won the Civil War. I gained possession of Guam. Nah. Nom 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 nom. Come on, Peter. It's time to go home. Not now, Lois. I'm making ladies feel good. Peter, I've been on my feet all day. Let's go. I'd stop, but Catherine Zeta-Jones' big hands are on the back of my head. You know what? Forget this. We're leaving. You'll find your own way home. <laughs> what? Throat cancer? Hey. Mort? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much charge, it's insane. I don't... I'm... Yuck. Lois? Oh no! I'm alone and lost in the mall! I haven't been this scared since the silence of the lamb! And I turn around and I don't know what happened to my wife and now I'm all alone and I'm just so scared! Okay, do you want to go look for your wife or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, wow! Lois! Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Oh. Oh. Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Are you gonna get in there? <laughs> Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! Wait! Don't close the wall! Like an actual Amtrak train, this is dangerously out of control! That's legally defensible, by the way. On your screen is a list of actual rail disasters! Oh, oh my God. 
Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, the secret to remaining upbeat after getting an elderly waitress. But we begin with breaking news from the Quahog Mall, where a local fat man was stuck overnight on a child's train. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas, Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas, Portland before the buzz wears off. You chicken heads are out of control. <laughs> Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of Summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? Lois and all of her friends are drooling over that new news guy. That Dallas Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie, but also trying to forget how mad I am at Dallas Portland. You and me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. Yeah, tell me about it. Since he arrived, our ratings have skyrocketed. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? But if Dallas Portland's on TV every night, my life's gonna be a living hell. You and me both. Without the news, I... I don't know who I am, but what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. But wait a minute. Maybe if we work together, we can solve both our problems. What do you mean? Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinner, and then they won't need him. All right, Tom, if you want to be young these days, you gotta do a wicked awesome GoPro skate video. Hey, almost time for the news. Okay. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie, with the news in your mouth! T. Homie? What the hell's he doing? He's crushing it. <laughs> news bomb! <laughs> I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. Boy, I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Dallas Portland should just pack it up and go home. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and watch. Ah, oh, he got his eye. Ah. What's wrong with you, Dallas? Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr. Tumblr <laughs> is not. <laughs> Bear scares. We'll be back after a message from State Run Industry. Peter, you were the one who told Tom Tucker to try all that nonsense on TV? You realize you cost that man his job. Well, how was I supposed to know? Katie Couric went on TV and stuck a tube up her butt and they threw her a parade. That was a colonoscopy. This is kind of your fault, you know. I mean, you're the one who was drooling over that Dallas Portland. I was just trying to get that guy off the air. Peter, that's ridiculous. He's just some pretty boy who doesn't mean anything. <sighs> you're right. Poor Tom. Thanks to me, he's fallen even further than Charlie Rose. Today on CBS This Morning, we'll be talking about how much sleep you need to not be drunk from the night before. That's not what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. What the hell do you want? I'm here to say, I'm sorry about what happened. Let me make it up to you. I'm the one who made you lose your job. I'll find you a new one. Don't bother. I'm washed up. Everyone saw what I did. And besides, I... I can't do anything else. I was born to be a newsman. I, I want to help you get back on your feet. Go home, Peter. You've already done enough. Thanks to you, it's over for me. Like Billy Zane. Sorry I let you down, Tom. Oh my god! Look! Up on the roof! Holy crap! Doritos Tacos is only for a limited time? <laughs> and oh no! Tom Tucker's gonna jump! Tom, I got here as fast as I could. So, so what's what's going on? It's over for me, Peter. If I can't anchor the local news, I have no reason to live. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything crazy, you should know one thing. I have that exact same bathrobe. Hey, Tom, the camera's gonna be on you in a second. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing? Getting an interview with a crazed jumper on the brink of suicide. This is huge! 
Wait a second. You heard wrong, Dallas. There's a jumper here, but it ain't Tom. It's me. What? That's right. Tom was just trying to talk me down. And if there's a news story here, the only one I'm giving it to is Tom Tucker. Good evening, Cohog. This is Tom Tucker atop a roof where a local crazy person is preparing to end it all. Bonnie, Tom Tucker's back on the news. Oh, here you are. Tom no, Tucker's no, back. I know. Uh, tell us, crazy person, why are you doing all this? I'll tell you why. I'm doing this because I ruined a guy's life. And I feel awful about it. It's the only thing I can think of to make things right. I think I speak for all our viewers when I say, don't do this. Please, come down off this ledge with me. You got it. If that's what the most trusted newsman in Quahog wants. Ah, oh, oh, no. It's fine, he landed on people. Uh, wait, wait, hang on a second, Shelby. I can't hear you over my brokers. Buy! Sell! Buy! Buy! Wow, buying and selling? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you Saturday. I better go. My helicopter's here. Fadu, 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 fadu. Are you still... By the way, you have no idea what a helicopter sounds like. Are you still keeping up this charade? Yeah, but it's perfect. Shelby's already off work, so I'll just grab the ring, and we can bring it back before they close. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mole. Oh my god, this can't be happening. Chris, that was a diamond ring. Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then pow! Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know, let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? Oh my God. This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. Oh All sex is rape! All sex is rape! When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now? We're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. All right, Chris, nothing's gotten that ring out yet. That's why we brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. Uh, I don't know what else to do. We've tried everything. Well, all right. Oh, okay. It was a lot to kind of look after there. That was definitely a lot to look after. You know what? I kind of felt like it went off on a tangent a little bit. I mean, we were talking about the funniest moments that we just start going on and on with the same episode. I'm like, are we watching the whole episode? Yeah, it kind of felt that way, didn't it? Full disclosure, we don't edit these. We just get sent them. I was gonna say, we just do them. We That's just do all. them. We don't edit these, because if they were editing to my standard, they would be of the utmost highest. Uh, yeah, you get it. Uh, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so, you call it. So hey, now the video's over. Good time crew, we got a question for you. And now comes the age old debate. It's a debate. When you eat your wings, would you like them boneless or bone in? <laughs> You're all out with that bone in? Well, okay. I would say boneless because for one, it's just easier to eat, to be honest. And then I feel like you get more of it. When I eat bone in wings, it's like, I swear I always leave too much and then people complain. I say boneless <laughs> wings and I'm not gonna overanalyze it like Stacy. I'm not giving you a reason. <laughs> <laughs> he Bone says what he said. Boneless are the best, I said what I said. Yes. Now, you let us know what you think yes. down in the comments. In the comments. And uh, hey, just like that, another one. Another one of these videos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Today. Thank you for taking time out of your day to like and subscribe this video. We appreciate it and connect with us down here. Yep, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next one.